Hey everyone, this is Jungmin. Welcome to the second tutorial, Rook Button Part 2. If you haven't watched the Part 1, I recommend you to watch previous one first before watching this. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you mapping for Sofa and Flow with Corona Renderer. Also, I will add some of items to fill the space. I'm going to show you the collaborating in After Effects as well. I sometimes take many types of channels for composition like Shadow, Reflection, GI, Wire Channel, z depth and so on, but it's not always necessary to get it all for me. I didn't use many channels for this cut. And now, without further ado, here is the sofa. I will set up just the color without the texture. And I'm going to use this map as a reflection. I will adjust the brightness to make it darker. It's because the reflection was too strong. Now we can see the reflection. Let me adjust the strength of reflection here as well. I will use this map for making it blurry. This is the letter, so it shouldn't be too reflective. I will turn it on to see the result. It looks too soft, so I will set up the higher value to get it to get more reflection. And I will add a bump map. As you can see, I mix two maps. It is a reflection map and smoke pattern for the bigger detail. If you don't have a proper map for a letter, go to the texture website where you can get nice quality free maps. The sofa looks a bit flat for me, so I will add the Corona AO ambient occlusion to make a depth. Now it looks um, better. But reflection is a bit strong for me. That's it for the sofa. Let's move on. I'm going to show you mapping for the flow now. As you can see, the flower doesn't have a reflection in mix map for a realistic look. Let me show you the diffuse map first. I will use this one. Even though this map has a high resolution and good detail, I'm not satisfied with it yet. So I will add a reflection first with this map. And I adjusted the strength here. I will turn it on and you will see the reflection. As you know, all concrete floors have um, different strengths of reflection. So you want to check the reference image or follow your imagination. I'm going to add a bump map and I want to add more details on it. There could be cracks, dust, shoes mark, etc. So I will mix other maps using Corona Layer MTL. I will add a mask map first. Basically, bright area has a new material and dark area has opacity. I want to use a um, UVW map option for setting up the map. So I have to set a different number. If you don't change it, other map size and location of reflection or bump will be changed together. You want to match the number in material editor as well. Then you can adjust the size or rotation separately. Select the gizmo if you want to adjust it with pivot. 
I will copy this map to new layer. As you can see, Broad Area has applied um, the new material. Let me set it up to have more reflection and make this area a bit darker. I'm going to add another layer. I will use this map and set up another number for the UVW map as I did before. Since this map has too much medium color, I will add more contrast. If, if the texture didn't have an obvious bright and dark area, base map and U map will be mixed a lot. I don't want this wizard for the floor, so I will adjust the brightness and contrast. It's too big for the new area, so let me invert it. I will copy this mask map because I want to use it as a bump map as well. All layers don't need to have only one bump map for a realistic image. I will paste it here. It looks too dirty for me, so let me remove the last layer. I'm going to unhide other object for rendering. Let me adjust this lighting setup. I don't want it to generate reflection or specular for this cut. Because these lights from burn create flicker on the glass object on the table. So I turn off all the options and I will have only one light. I'm setting up extra light. Environment light makes this cut a bit flat, so I will rotate the H.I image. It looks okay now, so let's move on. I will use only Z depth and reflection channel for this cut. I'm gonna set it up for three meters, and and I will do the render for post process. Let's go to the After Effect. And I already imported pictures for composition here. This first picture is base color render image. I did render separately since this teapot looks too big. And I added reflection, see that a little bit. I distorted angle and adjusted the tone. I put some glow effect for burps. And I added dark shadow a bit at the edge. Lastly, I added a shadow on the floor below model's shoe. If you want to add this effect, you will see this optics compensation option in effect and distort panel. I don't usually rely on my eyes for color correction or color grading. It's because each monitors have a um, slight different color or contrast value. And my eyes will see differently depending on what I saw before I edited. Or environmental color affects my eyes to see it differently. So it's good to know how to read histogram, waveform, vectorscope, etc. Let's open the lumetriscope. As you can see, bright side has a more red color. 
There is a lot of tutorials for reading this graph. You can check it out on YouTube. I wish I have a chance to explain it in my own tutorial in the future. I will select red channel and drag it down to remove red tone slightly. Green channel as well. I use the Starglow plugin from Red Giant. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel. Bye.